Hello everyone. This is probably <laughs> the saddest vlog that I'm gonna ever film. So let me just catch you guys up. I think everyone knows about what's going on with the coronavirus and colleges closing in the US. And this morning, I just got the news that RISD is closing and we all have to go home or somewhere that is not here because the campus is closing, classes are going to be held online, and we have to get out by March 22nd. And today is the 12th, so we have 10 days to get out. Record scratch! So, you're probably wondering how I got in this situation. Hi, I'm Tiffany from the future editing. This kind of sucks to watch. I'm here to help you guys through this video because this video is kind of complicated, honestly, because just the timeline of things that is happening is kind of crazy. So in the video, what I'm talking about is I just got informed that within a week, we have to leave RISD by March 22nd. Spring break was planning to start March 20th. So basically what we were told was just that we have to move out before spring break starts. We would go on our spring break and then we would not come back to RISD. I did a really bad job of explaining things in this video just because I was so flustered. But that's what that's what happened so basically yeah we had like to get all our stuff out within the next week okay let's continue i've never even filmed a dorm tour so that's fine uh you're gonna get one right now my dorm looks like this but <laughs> i have to plan to get out and i am terrified the current i'm gonna put my my feet up these are my knees the current situation, I'm trying to remain calm, right? Because, you know, let's just tackle one problem at a time. Everything will be fine because everything will be fine, you know? Um, I'm not too, too concerned. However, this next week is going to be so difficult. So why not vlog it, you know? Uh, I thought I'd share my pain with you guys because that seems to be what I do on this channel. So currently, I have to start packing already because, as you guys know, I have a lot of things in my room that need to be packed and so tonight it's after class i am getting ready to start packing my friends and i are going to go to home depot we're going to get a bunch of boxes the biggest issue is i have to ship a bunch of my stuff because of homework i'm gonna have to keep doing homework at home we're gonna keep having classes online i'm not sure how they're gonna do that luckily illustration is a department that's not too bad to have online but for art school in general having classes online is basically impossible i almost said virtually impossible but i don't really feel like making puns right now i'm super stressed but at the same time i'm not when i go home i'm still gonna have a week for spring break and then after that, we're gonna have classes again, but currently we are continuing classes while packing. So I have to continue taking classes while packing to go home and put things in storage. Basically, I will not be on campus starting now. So that's crazy. And by the time this is out, if it's past March 22nd, which it probably will be, everything's already happened and I'm probably fine. Um, I'm just super stressed right now. That's the move for this vlog. Literally, we're gonna be moving and it's gonna be crazy. And I'm really concerned because I have a bunch of sponsorship packages coming here and I don't know if they can be forwarded to my house. I don't know how I'm gonna get those. I just, there's so many logistics to figure out that I don't know what I'm gonna do. But right now I'm gonna do the least productive thing, which is I'm gonna edit a vlog because that kind of makes me feel better. Also, I really need to put this vlog up. So I'm gonna do that. And then I will go to Home Depot with my friends and we're gonna buy a ton of boxes because I have to pack up this entire room. Do you understand how many things I have? Like this is just my desk. Um my entire bed and then i have i'm just spin over this is my makeup desk my top of my fridge i have an entire mini fridge i just have so many things there's things on the wall pictures there's there's so many things wow that was a really good pan i have all my clothes that i need to pack because i need all my clothes for the summer you know to wear so that's what we're gonna be doing today but yeah i'm gonna go edit and hope for the best.
I'm currently editing, but I just remembered that today my friend was so kind and he brought me a cookie. So this will get me through, hopefully. It's really good. Peanut butter and wow. That's what's gonna get me through this. I really gotta finish editing this video. I'm also watching my old vlog of when I moved out last year to remind myself of how to pack and move out because it's just so much work. Mm. On our way. Mary, do you want to be in my video? Yes. We're stressed. We are waiting for their shipment of boxes. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. Hi, Mary. Howdy, welcome to Wendy's. How are you? We are at Wendy's. Again, a soda. Wow. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yes. That's a big one. Look at that. We are Wendy's because we are waiting for them to get this one. Thank you. You're welcome. This food's over there. Wendy's food. Finally. Oh my god, they're turning off the lights. Jeez! Hold out here. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed inside the vlog. It's in my vlog. Mm. Yes, right now. Hi, Mary. Hi, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm really out here just waiting. Uh, out of the freezing cold, here I am trying to set up these boxes. Uh, I got a week left and I felt like it was maybe too early to start packing, but I was like, you know what? Might as well get a head start. There's no reason to hold this off. I should just do this now. So I'm assembling these boxes, which is always very like satisfyingly fun, strangely, but my room's a mess now. So yeah. And then here's me sanding my clear vinyl in half so I can take half of it home and store the other half. And hello everyone, I am currently sitting out here with my laptop being super annoying because it won't let me finish editing a video. I'm trying to edit the video that I was talking about earlier today um, and get it up before I go shower so that it can upload while I shower because it's efficient. But today we went to Home Depot and it was wild. I don't think I even fully told you guys what happened. So we went to Home Depot. They told us that they were going to get large boxes. So we waited and then they were like, oh, they're actually here. They're just on a truck and they're going to be unloaded. So we're like, okay, cool. And she's like, it'll take about five minutes. And so we're like, okay. And then we wait for a while and we realize maybe they're not coming. So we go to Walmart to check, right? And then we realize Walmart doesn't have them. <laughs> so then we go back and then we're waiting even longer. And then we're like, maybe we should go get food because I'm starving. And so then we go and get food at Wendy's where Walmart is, we walk all the way back there and then we come back and then we eat our food in the Home Depot waiting for them to unload the truck and we find out the truck's not gonna unload because why? They didn't have any, we got the <laughs> incorrect information. And so we decided to ask the lady if there were large boxes anywhere else. Also, I know my hair is really, really messy. Just don't, don't worry about it. Um, so we decided to ask her if there were any more anywhere else. And so she told us there's more at a, another Home Depot five miles from here. So we went all the way over there via Uber and we got a bunch of boxes. And then, yeah, as you guys saw, I started packing tonight. So it's getting kind of stressful, but I'm just gonna try and finish this video and it's on the verge of being done. I just need to do some voiceovers, but I will see you guys in the morning because it's getting late and I have painting tomorrow, which is really annoying. So we're gonna see what my painting professor says about everything. So yeah. Hello and welcome to life. So we're still trying to carry out life as usual. I woke up late today so, so I don't have my full face makeup on because my alarm just decided not to go off, but I'm in painting class. We're just going to continue painting as if nothing wrong is going on. And yeah, we're still got homework, still continue classes. Everything sucks. I like the photograph. You can take it if you Hello everyone. So normally I would walk the other direction, but it is way too bright outside. So I'm gonna be walking this direction, but I just, Got out of class. 
So I was actually in the middle of getting my mail and I opened the box. I already know what it is. It's my Animal Crossing <laughs> limited edition Switch. I'm very excited about it, except it means nothing to me right now because I literally have to pack up all my stuff and go home. And it's all just so hectic and I still have homework to do because classes have not ended. So yeah, normally I would open my packages at the mail room and just throw away the box. But I was thinking since I have to pack up all my stuff, I might as well keep this extra box. So I'm gonna carry it to my room. But honestly, I wish I could play Animal Crossing, but I have to prepare for moving out of my dorm, so. And, oh god. <sighs> now I'm back in my room. Love this. The current status of my room is just boxes on boxes on boxes on starting to pack already. It's currently Friday and I will be leaving next Friday. So we have exactly one week to pack up everything, keep up with assignments, and get home. So I don't know how this is gonna go. A little unboxing, I guess, to cheer me up. This is huge. I did not know this is gonna be this big. And honestly, should we have shipped it to my house? Yes. But did we realize this was all gonna happen? No. And did we realize it was gonna ship so soon before we could even change the address? No. So here it is. <gasps> I don't really think I'm going to take it out of the box because there's no reason for me to take it out of the box right now but I bought this simply for Animal Crossing so I got the Animal Crossing edition because I like not so this is what I'm going to be bringing home and I guess maybe, maybe, oh god I was about to drop it maybe I could take a peek since it seems pretty easy to open I'll just open the box just to see, you know I'm kind of excited wow there she is. Okay, I haven't owned a Switch before, obviously. <gasps> it has the cute little designs on the back. You can't see really well, but I swear they're there. It's because there's a plastic on it, but I'm not gonna take the plastic off. So I don't really wanna take anything out of the box because I might as well just keep it all together. But here's like the top part and the bottom part has all the important stuff. But yeah, I'm excited to be able to play that once I go home. The game isn't even released for another seven days, so it'll be fine. Basically, by the time I get home, I will have my Switch with me and then the Animal Crossing game will be released and hopefully it will be shipped to my house already by then, so I will be able to play. I need to start preparing on what to put in my suitcase, also continue packing, also I need to do laundry today. So first thing is let's do some laundry so I can get clothes packed. I hope not too many people are doing laundry today because I feel like I'm doing it pretty early, but I still have so many Tide Pods that I could have potentially used up by the end of the school year, but I didn't. I packed away a bunch of my clothes last night, and so there's just a bunch of empty hangers that I suppose I can also start putting into boxes. I'm just really confused about what I should pack and what I shouldn't pack, so I don't know yet, but we're gonna figure that out. I'm already preparing to pack away my favorite blanket, which has these polar bears on it. Hopefully it just doesn't get cold the next few nights because if it does, I'm not gonna have a blanket, but yeah. Getting ready to pack everything away. Current status of the room. This is stuff that I am packing to put in storage. This box is getting shipped home. It's full of clothes. This is an empty box. These are all of the other boxes I bought. I also have more boxes stored from last time I moved back there closet up there storage my desk hasn't even started at all i don't even know if i should start on my desk yet i probably should everything's so sad and being taken away and all my shoes are not packed i need to figure out what shoes i'm bringing home and what shoes i'm not starting to package my shoes which kind of is an annoying process what i do is i just take all of my bags that I have saved and I just put them in there and seal it up and just throw it in a box and that's how I store my shoes and it's really annoying but I have so many shoes god and I'm running out of plastic bags they don't even give plastic bags anymore so that would actually explain why I have a very low supply ah <sighs> this is such a tiring process. So 
so far for packing this is all my hair stuff this is some makeup brushes but this is all a box of my hair stuff this is more hair stuff this is makeup that's gonna go in storage uh medicine and stuff this is more makeup and hair and it's a mess this is fine And so now I got my laundry and we just ate dinner. So now my friends are gonna go to get boba. Are they gonna take it? Mary's donating her puzzle. Let's we'll see if wow. they take it. It's not a very good thing. It's really challenging. Yeah. Add it to the collection. Great. Thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Hi, we're at Kung Fu Tea. Very nice. This is Mary. She wants to be famous. Oh, everyone's in it. Wow. Wow, my phone died. Uh -huh. Whose fault is that? Oh Three, two, one. Oh, Mary! Here's me unpacking more of my stuff. This one is kind of sad though because I have to pack all the art for my wall and I don't know, just taking it down from the wall is really, really sad, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then here's me working on my painting homework for no reason, because I literally can't take it with me, but we had to do it anyway. Okay, um, hi, this vlog is gonna be much shorter than I thought because there has just been one confirmed case at Brown, and so I'm gonna leave either tomorrow or Monday. We're not sure yet, depending on how soon I can get this stuff packed, but I'm going to just skip my classes for the rest of the week. So this choice was basically something I made on my own, was just that instead of waiting until the 22nd to get out as we were officially told to, I decided I was just going to skip classes for a week because I was like so stressed having to go to class and you know the environment at RISD was really bad all of a sudden because everyone was so stressed about the situation and I know it couldn't be helped. I'm not trying to like assign blame on anyone but just know that like I was just personally very very stressed so I just wanted to go home especially because there was just one confirmed case at Brown so I called my parents and my dad basically told me I can leave tomorrow or Monday as soon as I am ready so that's what we were going to do. Um, so that's why I was gonna leave so early. Technically, the move out date at this point was still March 22nd, which would be a week from now. This is so stressful. Everyone is so stressed right now. Everything will be fine. Yeah, so I don't know how the rest of this vlog is gonna go, but right now, current status of packing, um, behind me is just a wall of boxes. And yeah, so I guess I should just go back to packing. So now I'm basically preparing to leave like as soon as possible because of what just happened, which is crazy. And I have to pack away all my friends and I'm so sad. So far, it's just, it's everyone. Aww. Hi, so it's just insane chaos right now. I'm about to take apart my little house guide that you guys see in all the backgrounds of my videos. Um, I've also gotten questions about where I got this. If you guys are wondering, I got this on Taobao in China, so it's like from a website, so I don't think you could find it, but you could probably check AliExpress and maybe they'd have something similar, but here it is, all packed away. Packing is starting to get really hectic, but it's been hectic, but honestly, I'm just so excited that I can go home tomorrow. I will be home tomorrow night, that's the goal, is to make the 6 o'clock flight, if not the 12 o'clock flight. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> This is honestly really sad. Last time sleeping here, wow.
And then after I finished packing everything, or almost finished packing, at some point in the middle of the night, RISD emailed all of us and told us, just kidding, Rhode Island is in a state of emergency, so we all have to leave oh okay mail um so we all have to leave like immediately preferably in like the next two or three days i think they gave us i don't really remember i was already ready to leave so luckily RISD just kind of like agreed with my choice to leave a week early and instead made everyone leave a week early but a lot of people including my friends who got this news later it kind of sucked because it kind of like blindsided everyone so classes were going to be canceled for the next week since we were all going home and our spring break was just going to be extended a week longer instead so yeah, luckily things worked out for me surprisingly well. And so yeah, I just had to skedaddle on out of there. So despite how terrible I look, um, I'm about to leave. I'm finishing labeling some of the boxes. This is what everything looks like all packed up. And I'm about to go. Last night, Rhode Island called for a state of emergency. So they canceled classes immediately. So even though I thought I was skipping classes, I was actually leaving right on time. I just kind of booked my ticket a little bit earlier than everyone else. So yeah, but I'm about to get ready to leave. I have my two suitcases. They're quite large. Um, I'm about to number my boxes and then I'm ready to go. And I didn't film any footage at the airport because, you know, I had like all my stuff on and I was like running through the airport trying to go home. It was also not the time to film just because, you know, I was trying to like not touch anything and like be clean and careful. So that's why I didn't film anything. But as you guys can see, I'm home now. I have an update video coming out for you guys later at some point, hopefully soon. I will be okay. I am okay. I've been home for two weeks already. This video is just out super, super late because I was just so lazy and not editing this. There was no reason for me not editing this other than I was lazy. But yeah, so uh, at least I got it finally out. I've been putting off YouTube for a while just because, you know, I've been trying to relax and just chill. Um, but I'm going to be back on YouTube now. So yeah, school is going to be online for the rest of the semester. So I will be home all the way until September. So yeah, that's cool. Kind of sucks, but I will talk more about everything like that in my update video that's coming out really, really soon. I actually already filmed it. But that's pretty much everything. That's the story of how I got kicked out of RISD. Kind of clickbait, I know, but you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I saw the opportunity. I had to take it. I'm sorry. But yeah, so that's everything. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. I hope everyone's doing well. Social distancing, all that stuff. Very important. Please do it. Wash your hands. Sing happy birthday twice. My dad literally does it out loud. So if you want to make your entire family listen to you, might as well sing it out loud. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. So now I don't say this for just the purpose of an outro. I say it seriously. Um, stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.